Hi guys. Um, today's Monday and I'm going to start something called Blow Your Mind Monday where I try to blow your mind on Monday and I'm going to introduce you to my couch. Quartz couch, right? I mean, it, it only makes sense. It's restful and it's relaxing and it's where I think of all these great ideas like Blow Your Mind Monday. So, Blow Your Mind Monday. I'm going to share with you tips, things that maybe you haven't thought about, maybe you didn't know about, that could improve your game or help you out in some way. Talk golf, their swing, our nervous system, and brain signals. Golf is a very mechanical, technical game, right? And the swing is one of the most important parts of being a successful golfer, is having that perfect, great swing. Now. In our brain, we have signals. We have signals that are created from practicing, from our habits, right? So our brain is like, let me help you. Let me make things easier for you. So when you do things, it's like, hey, I've got you. You do this a lot. Let me create a strong signal that goes from A to B, done. You don't need much energy or conscious control to do this. I've got you. So most athletes have a strong signal for shooting for swinging and when things go wrong we start messing with that signal right we start changing our swing we start changing mechanics that interrupts that strong signal so that's our first problem is when things start going wrong we go to our mechanics and that is interrupting a signal making things worse when it was probably just the way your mindset was your mental game right? Your emotions, not your mechanics. Now, second thing is golfers tend to focus on adjusting in the moment. They're pulling back in that backswing for a swing and telling their brain, hey, wrist, you're doing something funky. Let's change it. Now, our nervous system is too slow for golf. It's not going to make it because the time it takes to monitor, to assess, to consciously say wrist, tighten, loosen, whatever it is, and go from body part to brain and back, you've already swung. It takes a second to swing and it takes a quarter of a second to make a adjustment that's gonna reach your nervous system and back to your brain. So that adjustment becomes useless and you become distracted and your focus is pulled from the ball and into your body into something that you have trained to do that your signal is strong and while we do make mistakes in our mechanics trying to fix them in the moment in that action kind of doesn't do us any good so I hope this blew your mind on a Monday and I hope to keep doing more of these so thanks for tuning in and we'll be back next Monday with another Blow Your Mind.